Good morning, guys. Benefix here with you again. And this week's video is going to be kind of an unboxing as well as a comparison because I picked up the City, what do they call it? City Ruin Battle Mat from GW. I'm going to unbox it, take a look at it, and then I'm going to compare it to a fat mat. Now, we talked about this a little bit on the podcast. I'm not convinced this thing is the best thing for all seasons, being only 4x4, four four, but we'll give it a fair shot and take a look at it, and we'll see what goes on from there. So, more to come. Okay, guys, here it is. The Battle Mat City Ruin box from GW. It's a 4x4 four four mat with the imprinted graphics on it. If you take a look at it, it looks actually pretty cool. And I already tell you the box is going to be a pain in the... <clears throat> okay, so for a 4x4 four four mat, it's actually pretty heavy duty. The fat mat is already on the table here. You can see this is the Swamp 4x4 four four fat mat. So this is going to be what I'm going to use for comparison. But uh, the GW mat, unfold it. It comes all folded up. Now I'm going to try to zoom out. Well, now here's one thing I like already. I'm going to try to show this to you. But if you look at the edges, they're all sewn in very tight. Now I don't feel like it's two separate pieces. It's just this is going to get... It's going to give a little bit more durability, I think, maybe. I don't know. can't tell you that for truth. But let's check. Yeah, it's definitely 4x4. Four four. So, now the graphics on it are reasonably impressive. And as we talked about on the podcast, which is the Rolling Bad podcast, even though it's just a 4x4 four four and kind of in direct competition with the Fat Mat, LR kind of believes that the reason they're going into this is they can go a little bit more towards the esoteric. They can have all the iconography, whereas Fat Mat's going to stick with your standard terrain types, your grassy plains, your snowy hills and mountains and all that stuff. So, whereas GW, I mean, I believe this one's out already and you can see it's imprinted with the Imperial Aquila. They're going to do a corn one. I'm sure they're going to do a bunch of different ones themed for Sylvaneth. They'll do them themed for you name it in the 40k range. Wouldn't be too surprised if we see a Mars pattern, all kinds of other things. But from general impression, it's virtually the same as the fat mat. I'd say the thickness is almost exactly equal. The feel, the fat mat feels a little bit thicker, but I, it, that's very subjective, very subjective. Same material on the back. Um, this one's obviously pretty well used, so it's guard up a little bit. But it's the neoprene on the back. Same thing for both. It's not going to go sliding around your table on you. The printing looks very, very good. I have no, no bones about the printing. It's very good looking. There are some creases in it because the, the fat mat comes rolled up in a tube. Well, actually, it's a big carrying case. And I do believe that I'm going to go from the box to this same arrangement, rolling it up. There's a couple of little, you can see some creases here and there from being folded up in the box, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Uh, they even show a picture of it being ironed out. I don't know if I would take a hot iron to something that has neoprene sort of rubber on the back, but I'm sure that's probably just me being old fashioned. So. Anyway, that's what it looks like. It's a very good looking mat. I especially like down here. Try to get it in the frame. You got some tank treads coming in. So, you know, let's do the old armored assault thing. So quality wise, I have to say it's absolutely equal to the fat mat. I would say transport wise, you'd be better off rolling it up and putting it in a tube than folding it up and who's going to bring a, fat, a mat and an iron to their game. I do like, I have to give them kudos for actually taking the time to sew those edges. And I, I have no idea if it's going to increase the durability, but who knows? Maybe it will. I haven't tested and I'm not going to test whether or not it's water 
resistant like the fat mats are, but if it is, if it's made of the exact same stuff, and it, it really does feel like it's made from the same stuff, I would imagine it has the same water resistance. But again, it's a very cool, very, very cool imprint, very cool design. I'll throw up a picture of two so you can see what it looks like in full, because I can't get it on my camera. But for $85, you're going to get Generally speaking, a discount from almost anywhere you buy it from. It's a great alternative to a green, you know, piece of felt on your table. So I think I can recommend it. I thought I was going to kind of hate it. I thought it was going to be cheap. But actually, it is neck and neck competition for the fat mat, which I am surprised. I got to give it a thumbs up. I didn't think I was going to, but I am. It's got great graphics. I might even just give it a tiny bit of a lift over the fat mat just because of that sewn edge. Well, there you have it, guys. That's what it looks like. That's what it is. I'm sure we can expect more of these from GW as time goes on. Well, let's see what comes down and hope you enjoyed this. Take care, guys. See ya.